my name is Kay Yewitt and I have a son called Lewis. He was diagnosed with idiopathic uh, pulmonary hypertension 20 years ago. He's now aged 33, so he was 13 when he was diagnosed. If you're going abroad, I would always suggest checking with your specialist team whether or not they think um, you're well enough to go or if they have any concerns. Um, once you've got the clearance from your specialist team, I would then um, start to look at travel insurance because um, it can be a little bit more tricky to get if you have a pre-existing medical condition. Um, the PHA have a very comprehensive list of um, companies that other patients have used quite successfully with competitive rates. So I'd give them a call, get that list and start phoning around to see what cover you can get at a reasonable price. So once you've got travel insurance covered, I would then check whether or not you need to fly, uh, travel and fly with oxygen because um, you then need to check with the airline that they are able to accommodate you with oxygen or whether they expect you to take your own. A lot of the different airlines have uh, different policies on oxygen and have different costs involved. Um, that tends to evolve over time so it's quite difficult to, to say for sure um, and what their policy will be. So once you've got those things in place, I would always go for booking something which is easily accessible, not too hilly if you get breathless with hills and with lots of stairs. I always try and book somewhere with good Wi-Fi because I think if you've got Wi-Fi, you've always got contact to your specialist team and assistance back in the UK um, whenever you need it. Um, the other thing I tend to do when we're traveling abroad is um, always make sure that I've got money on a Skype account. Um, you only have to load up a two or three pounds onto a Skype account and then you can use it as a telephone um, and you know that that phone call will only cost you a few p to make and it just takes the anxiety and pressure out of a long phone call maybe to a specialist center where you may be put on hold for a while. One thing I always make sure is that we have got plenty of extra medication with us, at least a week's worth, because you just never know when there could be a travel delay, whether or not it's the company's fault, or even another member of the family can become sick and you can't travel home. So make sure you've got extras. I would always, always travel with it in hand luggage. Um, I tend to split it within two family members' hand luggage, just in case somebody loses their hand luggage as well as their luggage, and you've always got some with you. I always travel with the original prescriptions or maybe a letter from the specialist centre to explain what the disease is, um, just in case medication gets lost while you're away and you need top-ups from, from a doctor in another company, country. Um, the other thing is I would always take an explanation of the disease in a written format. The PHA have got a lot on their website that you can download or give them a call and they'll pop something in the post to you, which explains the basics of the disease. Um, it's a serious disease, what, what treatments are available um, and they also have a little leaflet that um, translates it into different um, languages as well. Um, if you need vaccinations, again, think ahead a long way. There's a good government website that will tell you what vaccinations you need for specific countries and then check with your specialist centres, it's okay to have those vaccinations. Um, malaria tablets as well if you're going into some of the malaria zones again there's websites that, that explain where, where you need to take malaria tablets and um, check with the specialist centers it's okay to take those with your existing medication going on holiday um, i think is is a really important part of of life and um, is very good for your mental well-being very good for you to have something to look forward to, something positive to focus on, makes memories which you, you just can't put a price on. So whether or not it's just a short weekend away or, or a long holiday that you've always wanted to do and you have to save up to, you know, for a long time, it, it, it's just really worth doing. You can't put a price on it.